Uh, uh. He stand on the soapbox and address the audience out there. Yeah. I had the good luck to be on WFMT, a fine music artist owned by the two, the couple, Bernie Reed and Jacobs. And I found work in that station was beautiful. It was independent. My program, my hour, was wholly unedited. And, and then it was taken over, first by the Tribune and then by WTTW, and it became something else. Once you lose your independence, you become part of something else, the very nature changes. And so it was, the, it was a dream, 42 years, it was a dream world. Then when it was taken over by another more powerful force or factor, it changed by the very nature. This is our program for this morning. And after we hear from Mel Zellman and uh, this message, we'll think of tomorrow's program. This is so real, isn't it? Here we are. You, you heard that voice on tape, didn't you? Off and Ari and Ruth. Sunday, you heard that voice on tape. You hear the announcer in there on the air. We're talking to untold thousands. We're talking to a few people. Radio really is magic. I mean, television, everything. Radio is like magic. Well, but talk of radio and TV. The contrast. Why I prefer radio. Come to that. What's well, that's a good one. Radio is the most intimate of all mediums. I say mediums to avoid use of the word media, which I hate anyway. Radio is most intimate. See, using an example, Franklin D. Roosevelt as president, he had a patrician voice, a lofty voice, would be seen to be distant from ordinary working people. But once he was on the radio in something called fireside chats, he mastered it as no one ever did. He knew it was something intimate. He's talking to one person. You see, when you're on radio, you're not talking to millions. You're talking to one person. Until tomorrow, then, I take it easy, but take it. Take it easy, but take it. So we come. Where did that come from? Oh, take it easy, but take it. As an old folk say, I first heard Woody Guthrie use it in the song called Talking Union. Again, what I mean, you take it easy, but take it. And uh, it's an old, but it was used before what he did. It's an old, it's folk say. Just an old piece of. How long have you been using it? Oh, for years. I must have been. I remember. In the old days, it was of another generation. There was a heavy voiced philosopher named Paul Gibson, a name not known to many young. He'd offer banalities by the carload, but people thought he was profound because he spoke so slowly. See, if you speak slowly, they envision a pipe and tweed coat and wisdom. The slower you speak, the more wise you are. He spoke very slowly, but what he said, of course, was as uh, full as an empty paper bag. Well, these are tapes that I've done for the years, and these are only part of them. These have nothing to do with the books. These are just tapes for the radio station, WFMT. As Paul Goodman, a lot of tapes of Paul Goodman, Ravi Shankar. Different ones, you know, Tennessee Williams. These a lot are, of music tape, too. A lot of music tape, different singers, you know. Where the, uh, old uh, folk singers, Big Bill Brunsey, Mahalia Jackson. I admire artists, simple as that. I admire gifted people who are devoted to their art or their craft. Craft, yeah, of course, you know. And uh, I don't admire slovenliness, and simple as that. Have you got a special feeling in this room? I don't know. Do I get a special feeling? Well, I suppose the first is a lot of work. A lot of work. Your work ethic. Yours, not the you work. Your work schedule, you mean? Your schedule, your work ethic. Oh, I you're, don't you're, gonna, you're more than 88 right now. Yeah, I'm going to be. I'm 88. I was born May 16th, 1912, about 28 days after the Titanic sank, born the same year. The Titanic went down and I came up. Now, maybe it's not <laughs> accidental that that Titanic and I went with it. The Titanic is really, should have been the end of man's arrogance that we learned nothing from. But think about it. This ship that wouldn't go down, yeah. a lot, just a tip of an iceberg, bang. <laughs> and you would think, you would think we I'm learned... I'm a talker, what... I know that. Yeah. I can talk, I know that. And most of my stuff has been oral, you know. Mm -hmm. Let Freud make what he will out of that. Uh, the cigar, I know it offends many people, I apologize. I don't smoke in front of people uh, in a room, I smoke by myself. 
my one remaining vice, so please bear with me. 